Cody Shoemaker on the principal at Power APAC and we welcome you. Power APAC success began last year under Dr. Sandra Reed. This school is lucky to have an amazing faculty and staff and our students are absolutely wonderful. They work hard every day. The keys to success that have happened at Power APAC is that we have a team that has worked together. It's allowed our students to show growth and moved ourselves from the number 29 spot in the state all the way to the number nine spot in the state. My name is Demetria Funches. I'm a fourth grade teacher at Power APEC. I teach reading language and social studies. Students at Power APEC are performing at such a high level because of the expectations that the teachers have here in our building. We expect more, we really push them. We provide the rigor in the classroom activities that we provide each day for our students. And I think they know that and at the end of the year, they just always really give us what we expect of them. The strategies that we use here are across the board. Accelerated Reader is a large part of what we do, and we really focus in on that so that students can understand that reading is fundamental. We also have a very strong mathematics department, and they have overwhelmingly moved our students into the stratosphere. Our interventionist, Dr. Carter, has worked very closely with our promising 25% and those students showed amazing growth, above 90% both math and reading. Our standards and our goal are really achievable. They are really end of the year goals, so we really work together to figure out how we can make our students progress over a period of time. And we just take the standard and we meet certain points throughout the year and we just keep our students moving to make sure they achieve those goals. In order to sustain that growth, we've built an even stronger team, if that's possible. We've brought in amazing teachers that are prepared to move our students even further than we did last year. Here at Power APAC, we do have a goal of becoming the number one school in the state, and we often talk about telling Obama Magnet to watch out that we're coming for them. So we'll see how that works out this year. I think a healthy competition and rivalry is very good for our students in our school. It gives us a rallying call that we can use during our Monday motivations when our students do their chance to get ready for the week. We have regular data meetings to see what our students are lacking in to figure out where we need to pick them up in order to move them forward. And those things I think are very important to make sure that our students continue to grow as a school. This year we've built in common planning time so our academic team can all meet together. And various times throughout the week, whether it be through PLCs or literacy leadership team or math leadership team, or even our school-wide leadership team, we break down the data, not just academic data, but also other piece of instructional data, behavioral data, attendance data. All of those pieces of information come together to give a clear picture of what a student needs, and we can then take that information and begin to build and develop a plan for each individual student for success. And that can only be done through structures that are put in place by leadership and then a continued effort by teachers to stay committed to that, committed to the plan, committed to the vision that all of our students will succeed. A lot of our data meetings, we have some that are school-led, um, principal-led, led by our interventionists, but lots of times throughout the building we have teachers that are just meeting on their own. Grade level meetings, partner team meetings, sitting down going through the data to determine what we need, what we're good at, where we're weak at, to determine ways that we can implement in our classrooms. At the core of any school is strong parental involvement. If parents have a sense of ownership over the education of their child, a commitment between school and home, and communication that lasts all year long, there's absolutely nothing that a school can't do. Here at Power, we have some of the best parents in all of JPS. Their students are committed to being the strongest students that they can be because their parents are there supporting them. Homeschool communication, homeschool relationships are so vitally important. And luckily at Power APAC, we have that and then some. But we'll continue to grow our parents because the goal is for them to stay in the APAC program from fourth grade through 12th grade. And so those relationships are going to be vitally important for the sustained success of APAC. The district has done a really good job in providing us support from professional development. One that I could particularly relate to is one we received this summer with the leadership team. And we discussed how formative assessments, how you can implement those in your classrooms, and just many different ways and forms that you can have a formative assessment in your classroom and how to make sure you're hitting those quick points and those checkpoints throughout the year 
to make sure that your students are successful. And I think they've done a really good job with that professional development, and it has helped me grow as a teacher. Schools are only strong as their weakest teacher. And here at Power APAC, we have a staff that is the single reason why we've moved so far so quickly and why we'll continue to do so. I think for Power APAC to maintain our level of success is to grasp our bubble keys. And when I say bubble keys, I mean our keys that are in the middle, um, maybe 3A or 3B that could be 4 or 4 that could be 5. I think we often focus on the bottom 25 or the top 5. I think if we focus more on our bubble kids, we can maintain our academic success here at Power APEC. These teachers are committed to student achievement, committed to seeing that students grow as individuals, and we really do focus on the individual needs of children, finding out where their deficits are, and building them up from there. We're determined to see continued growth here at Power APEC.